It is just gone. But my watch is moving on. I think it is about quarter past six. Right. It's about quarter past six. Um, and we've just left Alton Broad. And the reason we've left early is because uh, come eight o'clock, the bridge at Summer Layton will be too hot and it won't swing which means we will be stuck. So um, we are making our way towards Summer Layton to get under the swing bridge before it gets too hot during the day. We have had the most amazing three days. Um, for anyone who isn't in the boating community, I'm assure, assuming if you're watching this, you are. Um, an amazing group of people. Um, we met two lovely people who have got the most enormous boat. And um, their names are? Tony and Heather, Heather who have a lovely uh, Fairline Phantom 56, I think it is. Um, but the most kindest, um, loveliest people ever um, made us very welcome on board and um and we, uh, we met some faces that we already knew yeah yeah we met so. lots of faces we already knew um and that's only from recent weeks of owning the boat isn't it yeah it is but they made us feel like we're part of the community already so yeah Mick and jan and jim and leslie yeah just um oh peter yeah just brilliant yeah really nice people uh, and not forgetting uh, Gavin and Dawn who have uh, oh, well. <laughs> they're, they're more than just friends uh, they're more than just friends and they're, yeah they're the boating yeah they're absolutely brilliant um, so anyway uh, this is what we're seeing right now this is our view at the current time that's the marshes you can walk around from down at Alton Broad at the moment because they are off out for a, um, like a, what do you call it, uh, they're all going out down to, not Southwold, Wood, it's gone. Anyway, they're all off down there. So, um, it's a lovely boat. What is that? Just spoke to Summer Layton, uh, Swing Bridge. They can swing at 7.22. And um, we've uh, 
Navionics says we're actually going to get to them at 7.22. So we are literally just, we're doing less than five mile an hour. We've just eased right off. This is a six mile an hour limit. Um, and we are just meandering towards the swing bridge, which is uh, literally, it looks as if it, we're right on top of it, but we're in actual fact a mile from it. So, um, it's just such a gorgeous morning. It is, absolutely. Not a cloud in the sky. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous morning. It's one of those gorgeous mornings that you just wish you weren't going home. Yeah. But such is life. The positive is, is when it's your own boat, you can come back whenever you want. Oh yeah, God. If we worked out the number of times we've used the boat, how much it would have cost us to hire a boat those times. Yeah. The boat's starting to pay for itself, isn't it? Yeah, oh definitely. Definitely. Because no. this is definitely a get away from it all. I don't think this is anything, you, I don't think it's something you, you're ever going to get bored of because you, there's all, no matter where you go and what you do, there's always something new to explore. You know, we've already passed two lots of moorings where we've said, well, if you get off there, you might be able to walk to here or go to there or do this or do that. So. And we've already seen three herons on their nests, haven't we? Yeah. It's so calm this time of the morning, too. Yeah. We passed uh, one one kayaker, a stand-up paddle holder. And uh, one boat. And one boat. So, um, the thing is, even when you're not going anywhere, when you're moored up, reading a book or... Sorry. Yeah. I'm just trying to get, get us out of the sun. Uh, yeah, it's, um, I mean, this, you can hear the birds. It's just so relaxing. It's just, it's, this is the holiday for your soul as yeah. well as your body. Ah. Well, so. That was very amusing. See what I have to put up with? Yeah, yeah. Right. right, we're heading towards the bridge. Back presently. Well, we've just come through the bridge, as you can see behind us. The bridge has swung. Um, we just had a bum rail fly across our path. We have. And I'm becoming a boat nerd. Yeah. Different makes boats. This is quite worrying. <laughs> so, we are doing a grand speed of five mile an hour. <laughs> so, um, we're just going past some of like moorings, which, um, as you know, we uh, we were here last time. Um, and normally we'd still be asleep. Yeah, we'd normally day. still be asleep this time of day, yeah. So yeah, you're probably right, that probably is a sea line. Um, Very square looking vessel that one, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's a broom, I think. Oh, is it a sea no, it's a sea lion. With that one? Sea lion, yeah. It's a new sea lion. It's not a lion, it's a line. A line, sea lion, sea lion. So yeah, so Good morning. Yeah, so um, we're through and um, one bridge down, one to go. Yeah, all right. the, uh, it's oh, got wait. higher tolerances though. Good morning. morning. Um, it does have higher tolerances at Reedham. So um, hopefully, hopefully we'll get through no problems. So this is pretty rubbish videography to be quite honest because um, you've got I've got the sun behind me so you all you're probably getting is glare so I'm really really sorry but, uh, anyway we've we made the we can't we've made summer Layton. we're through summer Layton and um, we can push on dizzy heights of six miles an hour six mile an hour now <laughs> down the new cut towards freedom. Uh, right, onwards and upwards. Back when the um, sun's above the yard on. Whatever that means. 
I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't know. It just, I don't know what that means. You know what look at what a yard arm it is. It's uh, probably something on the same boat. And then, then, then. So there we go. Yeah. Right. Our informative videos, as always, we don't know and you tell us. That's it. That's how this works. <laughs> right, back presently. Look at this. The river is just as calm as calm can be. I am on tick over. We're going with the tide. Literally, the engines are just ticking over. And I'm doing five mile an hour. The size of that place up there. Wow. There's got to be either a care home or a hotel or something because there is no one or, or apartment. I like the one next to it, this little, little one, little, little one. But given the choice, I like that. <laughs> so. Well, we're just going up to some olives. And um, down the new cut. And then um, one more swing bridge to go. So fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Right, we're going to have some breakfast because it's breakfast o'clock this time. It's 20 to 8. 20 to 8 on a Saturday morning. Yeah. <laughs> I nearly rang Hayley, I thought, oh, it's gone over seven, I'll give her a ring, and then I realised that it was Saturday. Yeah. And I thought she probably wouldn't appreciate it. Oh, she wouldn't mind. Oh, train. Over there somewhere. Ah. Uh, see it in the distance, here it is, yeah. Made a lot of noise for a little train. Oh, we made it through the swing bridge, that's all the important thing is. That was actually 20 minutes ago. Yeah. How time flies on the water. Right, can I have some breakfast back in a minute? Uh, back again. Um, so we've just passed um, several large, very large craft, a 55 foot princess. What was the other one? Was that a fair line or a princess? Fair line. A um, couple of brooms. And fair it's. Line 54, was that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there is the uh, Norfolk Agency Cruising Club. Uh, obviously, off out for a, um, for a cruising club event, which is a real shame because we were invited to it because we, we purchased Naughty Rascal through um, MYA. Um, yeah, so we were invited to it, and um, obviously we got to go and do work. So I'm, I can't remember where it is it going, um, but there is quite a few boats. There was a few boats down at Alton Broad. So unless it's unless they're all together and you know out for that, but I, I love I love seeing it. I love seeing people with boats of all shapes and sizes, all ages. Just doing what they love. Doing what they love, which is absolutely great. It's, uh, so we have a few years left. We'll be able to do this more. Yeah, it'd be nice. It'd be nice. So, well, we're nearly at the end of the new cut, and um, the gentleman said he'll swing the bridge at quarter past eight. It's 12 minutes past. So I am hoping that by the time we get there, we are just in time for the bridge to open. So, um, let's keep going. This is, uh, this is our current view. Yeah, this is our current view at the moment. Um, the new cat's not the most interesting thing. No, it's not. It is, um, oh look, there's a train coming over the bridge. I don't know if you can see that in a distance. 
but I, I think the track is very close. So, what, even here? Yeah, I think it's pretty close. I think it's just to our left. I don't know if see it above these reeds, will we? Uh, we should do. So the train's coming round now. I have to say, Lisa just complimented me on my um, my boat control, which was really nice. Yeah. Um, as we entered the new cut, there was a um, a, a Princess 55, a, a, an older one, but still very, very nice. Um, obviously, the new cut isn't the deepest. It was huge. Not the first cut is the deepest. It was huge, this boat. So... Um, Anyway, the train is in the distance. So you reversed. So yeah, so I, re I reversed uh, very slowly. And, um, so I did point out if Rich reversed like that onto a moor, onto the moor in it, onto the road, it would have docked first time. Yeah. So. So I don't know if you can see the train. Train is there, look. Videography was absolutely rubbish because if I turn the camera any quicker, you'd all be sick. So we're using the new tablet with masses of reflection off the sun. Um, just coming up to the to the bridge. So um, the gentleman said quarter past and I believe it will be very close to quarter past that he swings the bridge. But we arrive. Uh, we arrive. So um, here we go. I don't know if you're going to, we might see it, we might not. We might see what? We might see the bridge swinging. I'm trying to work out what the time is now. It is quarter past. So um, let's just get around this corner and have a look. I do believe he has swung the bridge already. Look at that. What an absolute gentleman. So um, we're just coming level now. Oh, that's depth alarm of 3.6, 3.5. Hopefully it will get a bit deeper now. There we go, 4.4. <laughs> it didn't like that. <laughs> right, I'm just going to push on just a little bit because we're now fighting against the tide. So here we are. I don't know if you can hear them. The engines are working just a little bit harder because we are pushing against the tide. Uh, I'm actually now at 15,000, 1,500, <laughs> 1,500 revs, and um, we are literally just doing 4.9 mile an hour. So it's a very strong um, current flow at the moment. Always is at It always it? is, yeah. Um, I think when I checked the charts earlier, it said it was like a five knot current. So, um, it actually feels like we're standing still, which is a really weird feeling because the engines are, the engines are actually making more noise than they have done the whole time we've been cruising. So, um, and Readham is, oh, it's Saturday morning, isn't it? Yeah, it's Saturday morning. So Readham, I was about to say he's, he's empty, but um, 
it's empty because all the higher craft are heading back for changeover, etc. etc. So that's very nice. What do you think that is? It's a broom, isn't it? That's the one you keep down there like that. Thank, always thank the Sigmund. Um, so there's a boat. This looks like it's tied a bit tight there because it's actually listing to the left. Can you see it? It's slightly listing to the left. We are just making five mile an hour, <laughs> which is rather funny. Prophecy over, isn't there? Because they wanted to charge ten pound a night. Now, I thought there was some signs went up somewhere, and then uh, they disappeared down again. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Uh, but then there's some moorings for the pub. So, um, and this people is where I moored when we met. Um, Debs in tiny, and, um, and, in the and then I went for a swim in the mud, which isn't there now. So uh, there is a lot of sea lion boats. So there's actually there's two there, and there was one further back. So um, as uh, somebody said to me the other day, if you what you got to look at it is a sea lion. Is the, um, is the Ford of boating. Reliable, a lot cheaper to repair when it goes wrong. Your Princess and your Fairlines, the uh, Mercedes and BMWs, uh, but we've got a Ford. And I don't mind having a Ford. We is get it? to do the same as everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Freedom Ferry, next, next stop. Alright, just approaching Freedom Ferry. And, uh, the ferry has just landed, so as to speak.
we'll be on the Chet. What we don't want to do is pass anything the size of what was coming. You want you want you want to more. You want overnight mooring four pounds. You you want one more there with now, would you? I mean, you can get to the pump to be honest. Yeah, I don't want to stand on No, no. You know, I watched Gavin, Gavin more um, with the tide, um, but that's just a good seamanship. He's uh, has got excellent control of the boat. Uh, admittedly, he's got a bow thruster, but he, which, he doesn't use. which he doesn't use that much. So we're now being pushed sideways, which is a really weird feeling. So the boat is actually being pushed sideways as we turn on to the chat. says around about 25 past nine we're gonna get to uh we've done really well because we're not very good at sticking to our timeline no but we did stay well i think it was a case of having to wasn't it because we could had no time to faff about yeah we normally do we, uh, we had to get through the bridges because, as we were told, come 8 o'clock, possibly 9, uh, there is a very strong possibility that summer late and wouldn't have swung because it's too hot. Uh, and it, as on, this, on the ground, it's going to be 25 degrees today. Um, we couldn't take that risk because we've got to be in work for 6 o'clock in the morning we've got a six hour plus drive home so uh, we couldn't take the risk we needed to be um, back on the mooring um, in adequate time so uh, anyway we're on the chat let's uh, let's keep plodding along so we're just saying that the reeds have not been tended to um, and we've just passed a, another boat coming the other way who was completely on our side of the river um, who just went into panic mode bless him he didn't see us he did didn't he? see us uh, and then just kind of went yeah yeah which is my party trick I know but we ended up sort of running along the reeds just to avoid a a collision um, but these reeds have not been cut back so it's making the navigation really difficult um, if you was to get two boats of a you know slightly bigger size along here someone would end up planting their boat in the reeds causing damage now who's um, whose fault is that if your boat gets damaged because the reeds have not been cut back 
you know, it's, um, yeah, I don't know, I, um, I really thought that the Broads Authority were on this, perhaps I'm looking at things from 30 years ago, where the Broads Authority were on it, and they did, they did look after the Broads, um, it's funny because you just started filming in a bit that's all right. Yeah. Oh, this, yeah. You should have filmed Yeah, I should have filmed there. a bit earlier because it, it, it wasn't all right. It's really overgrown. As I say, it's, um, you know, you've damaged your boat because the reeds have not been cut back. Anyway, I've stopped whinging. So this is what I mean. So these reeds now are growing out and making the river very narrow. It's narrow enough as it is, but it's making it even narrower. So there's got to be an onus of responsibility somewhere for someone to come along and just trim these back. Um, what are we? We're middle of June. Yeah. Oh, 26th of June. 20, yeah, 26th of June tomorrow. So, so towards the end of June. you know, we're heading we are heading into the holiday season. Um, you know, it's it needs to be addressed because you know some some people just don't care and they will just ram your boat to get through. So um, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed. Bit disappointed that it's not being sort of looked after right I'm really sorry for the abrupt ending to the video but uh, unfortunately I managed to lose some footage which is unusual for me I um, hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we'll be back in the next one Bye.